A big loss for Trump in the New York hush money criminal case, the judge ruling against Trump's efforts to block testimony from Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels in what is expected to be his first criminal case to go to trial. Now, that trial was scheduled to start a week from today. The judge has delayed it until at least April 15th at this time, though. But this decision comes on the same day as the release of a new documentary about Stormy Daniels. In the film, Stormy says she accepted the $130,000 payment in 2016 to keep quiet about her alleged affair with Trump because she was scared for her life. My friend was like, you might actually have a problem. I don't want to scare you, but based on the things you've told me, now you're the whole Republican Party's problem and they like to make their problems go away. It was really about two things, trying to keep the story from coming out so that it would not hurt my husband and my daughter, and I wouldn't lose my life. And that there would be a paper trail and money trail linking me to Donald Trump so that he could not have me killed. All I had to do was sign this piece of paper and collect $130,000. Now, of course, Sarah Trump, uh, you know, has denied having an affair with Stormy Daniels and claims he didn't know about the $130,000 payment made by Michael Cohen. And Sarah Gibson is up front now, the director of Stormy. This is her first television interview since the film's release. And, and Sarah, I just I think everybody should be clear. Um, you've been working on this for a long time. Your documentary tonight officially out for everyone to watch on Peacock. And it happens to come as we have this breaking news when a judge in New York says Stormy Daniels is able to testify in the criminal trial for Trump. And as I said, you've worked with her for five years on this documentary. Do you think she is eager to take the stand? Is she ready to take the stand in this case against Trump? I would say absolutely. She has a real fighting spirit and she's looking forward to being able to, be able to tell her story on in, in the court and in front of the world um, what happened during 2016. So it's clear from watching these parts of your documentary, Sarah, that the fear and paranoia that has followed Stormy Daniels since her story first came out in 2018, uh, you know, that that's just so present. You know, in the film, you see her confront someone following her. Someone's following her and her daughter who is terrified in their car. And then you also show us Stormy's horse, shot by somebody with rubber bullets abusing an animal after the address was leaked online. I mean, these are unbelievable things. And I want to play another clip from the film where she describes how all of this intensified after Trump's indictment. And I do want to warn our viewers in this clip, uh, Sarah, some of what Stormy says is graphic. Back in 2018, there was stuff like liar, slut, gold digger. This time around, it is very different. It is direct threats. It is, I'm going to come to your house and slit your throat. Your daughter should be euthanized. They're not even using bot accounts. They're using their real accounts. I'm desensitized to some of it, but they've also become more violent with me. I'm more prepared with my legal knowledge, but I'm also tired. Like, my soul is so tired. So, I mean, and I don't know if I'm so much a warrior now, as, as um, out of man, I'm out of. How much of the threats against her increased? And and also in there, we saw her, Sarah, in a way I've never seen her before. I've, I've you know, you see her as a human being. Yeah, and that gets missed a lot. She's been reduced to just a headline for mm -hmm. so long. Porn star Stormy Daniels, a one-dimensional person. Um, no one thinks that she might have a family, that she might have a daughter, that she has a career that she is needing to salvage and make a living for her family. So I would say that the um, death threats have increased tenfold um, since the indictment and even more so since 2018 when the news first broke. And I would say that a lot of um, the trolls online feel very empowered to say whatever they want to her and to threaten her in whatever way they, they choose. Tenfold, that is something just gives me pause. I mean, she gives her most extensive description uh, to you in this film of her meeting with Trump in 2006. That meeting is the meeting that would ultimately turn her entire world upside down. And, and she tells you, Sarah, that she went to a hotel to have dinner with him and then he calls her up to his room and she tells you they spoke about her career as a director and he dangled out potentially having her on Celebrity Apprentice. And then this is what she says happened. He told me I reminded him of his daughter. 
I felt like he was being sympathetic to me. Ivanka is beautiful and she's blonde and I'm sure she's had people assume that she's an idiot. But I felt like as this father figure who has watched his daughter be treated a certain way could identify with me. I thought we had this mutual respect. Which is why I was so crazy when having no red flags whatsoever in a conversation, I came out of a bathroom to find myself cornered. I don't remember how I got on the bed. It was awful. But I didn't say no. She's brutally honest there. And obviously, the former president has brutally attacked her, insulted her appearance, uh, many other insulting things. What motivates her to keep speaking out? I think Stormy is a person who fought her way out of poverty in the South growing up and worked so hard to find a life for herself, a uh, family. And she will do anything for her family and to make sure that all the work, all the hard work that she did over all those years is, was not for nothing. And she is a person who will, will not hesitate to speak up and say, say the truth, even when it's really uncomfortable and really detrimental to her. And she's a very exceptionally unique person in that she really thinks about the greater good and, um, and, re and really just wants to make sure that the truth gets, gets out there in this trial. All right, well, Sarah, I'm really looking forward to seeing this and thank you so much. Really appreciate your taking the time and coming on. Thank you so much for having me. All right, appreciate it.